Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I am Britt, creator of The Style Shaker, your guide to cleaner, greener, beauty, skincare, and more. I try products out for you and share my honest reviews so you have a better sense of what to buy and more importantly, what not to buy. Today I am reviewing the RMS Beauty Master Radiance Base. And I have this in the shade Rich in Radiance. I just like to use the word radiance. It is a multi-use cream highlighter. It's supposed to diffuse and blur imperfections, blend and be a multitasker with lip, eye, and other products, and hydrate firm and smooth skin for 30 bucks. So does it? Stick around, let's find out. Here we go. FYI, I purchased this, so no one's paying me to say the following. You're getting my honest review. As always, if you enjoy getting my honest reviews, make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for that. So I'm gonna go quickly through the pros, the cons, give you a demo of the before and after, along with my final verdict and any other product recommendations if I have them. The full Style Shaker scorecard is linked below. If you wanna know more about that, also linked below. And without further ado, let's start with the pros. <laughs> My favorite way to apply this ended up being as a mixer, as the brand states. It really is an interesting product. It's kind of like a, I get to play with this with all my other products. I mix it with the Kinship SPF, but really any lightweight moisturizer will do. And a very small amount mixed with that gives a nice glow to the skin. It does feel a little bit thicker, more dense, more of a rich cream highlighter. But it is smooth upon application, so it's not the kind that you really have to kind of zhuzh into the skin. I have combination skin, sometimes it's oily, sometimes it's dry. Really depends on the weather and which is where my skin's at. There's jojoba seed and castor oil. So those are the first two ingredients, which on RMS, oftentimes I see a lot of coconut oil. It's in there, by the way. That's I'll talk about that in a second, but it is very hydrating, so that was another claim that I feel like it followed through on. It's really something that might be helpful for thirsty skin. This feels almost like a moisturizing base with a glow to it. Speaking of glow, it really does give you that. I mean, everybody in the reviews is saying it, so I wanted to check it out. Yeah, it does give you a very natural looking glow. It didn't give me glitter, didn't give me flex. It didn't look patchy or anything like that. I'll talk about that again in a second. Um, there's a personal preference and a product recommendation, but I'll get there. I wanted to try setting it because I got a little overzealous with my first application. I applied a lot of it and everywhere and you just, I, you don't need to do that. So in that case, I ended up setting it just to tone it down a bit. It muted it a bit. Talk about the wear test also in the cons. Well, so I kind of gave it away, but when you put the powder on top, you don't lose that glow. It's still there. So it plays well with other products. And glass container, it's a plastic component, but glass container I'm a fan of. There's a little spatula. So you don't have to dunk your finger in there. Gluten-free, alcohol-free, soy-free, free-free, free-free, free, cruelty-free. The standout pros for me were it's a really good multitasker. It really does give a nice natural looking glow and it was surprisingly hydrating. Now it's time for uh, the cons. <laughs> So as I mentioned, it's a little bit thicker and denser and richer, which could be a con for more oily skin types. It might just kind of not be the best option for you. You might not want that extra hydration with the oils in there. The claim of firming and smoothing the skin, no. I didn't see firming. I didn't see smoothing necessarily. For me, that's just a base skin texture thing. The scent is a little strange. It's not overpowering, but it's a little strange. Coconut oil is inside, so that might be a problem for some skin types that just can't handle it. Eight to 10 hours into the course of the day, the glow was still there, but it looked a little not so fresh on my skin. There was a little too much glow. You know, when you first apply it, you can feel it there and that sticks around. So if you just want a highlighter and you don't want that extra layer of moisture, then this probably isn't the product for you. And I will mention a product that you might like instead in a minute. But yeah, after I wore it for eight to 10 hours, there was a lot more shine here, which really looks not so great at the end of the day. It makes me just look ruddy. Also, remember I told you I got very overzealous upon initial applications quite the sense. Well, I did, and I put it everywhere. And I was like, <sighs> forehead, chin, do you really need a radiant chin? Probably not. When I put it on my forehead, I have fine lines here. It's settled a little bit in there because it is a richer formula. So you're gonna get a little bit more weight to it. There's probably application techniques that you could absolutely try here to alleviate that. It really depends on what you use to prep your skin and what you're gonna use on top. So I'm not gonna dive 
deep into that. It really was best for me in this area. I loved the glow it gave here. I think it could work on the decollete. The final con, no refills. Standouts for me when it came to cons were heavier formula that just settled into the fine lines and the wear test. It was really, really primarily about the wear test. If it held up a little bit better, the formula would have to be different for it to do that, then I probably wouldn't have found much wrong with it. And now it's time for the final verdict. <laughs> this is the very personal part. My word and my opinion on a product, certainly not gospel. So I just wanna make sure you have all the information you need to make your decision, but I'm obviously gonna tell you my opinion along the way. Is this a product that I would buy again and again? You know, if I hadn't tried a couple of others out there that I really like, then potentially. I liked the glow. The only problem was, like I mentioned, the wear test. It just was a bit heavy for my skin. So I like something that's a little bit more lightweight. I think it's a fun product if your skin can handle the richer formulas. There are some other luminizing base products like highlighters that I would absolutely recommend you could check out. I'm not saying these are all my favorites, but you know, if you're looking for things like this, then I wanna give you other options. One of which happens to be one of my this is a favorite. It's the Maya Chia highlight of the day. Love it. I don't know what it does. I don't know how it does it, but it's very lightweight. It lasts all day and it doesn't affect the wear of my makeup. It really just luminizes everything. I think you can play a little bit with a dry powder that's a highlighter. So a highlighter like the RMS Beauty Luminizing Powder in Midnight Hour. One of my favorites as well. So I am kind of giving you my favorites here, but you can put a little bit of that with a very lightweight oil. You can just kind of make your own little base that's again a little lighter. And finally, a liquid highlighter that you also might want to check out is from Ilia. Their Liquid Light Serum Highlighter and this is in Astrid. I have a full review for this as well. Links will be below for all three of those products that I mentioned. And there are more favorites like I mentioned. They're just all in Brit's Picks or you can check out the favorites playlist on the channel. That's all I have for today. Thank you so much again for watching. If you found this helpful, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel and I will be right right back here real soon with another review. Until then, bye. heads up. What's she wearing on her lips? It's a good question. The Aether Beauty Lip Cream and Self Love. I'm not sure if this is out still, but sorry. It's really good. So hopefully they come back with it. And the other, this is the base, the Cloven Hallow Lip Velvet. I just got this in Darling. Okay, that's all. Bye. Not sure why I said it like that, but I did.